Almost half a million chickens killed, farmers reeling, and the first ever human case of bird flu has been recorded in Australia. So, what's this disease and how dangerous is it for our country? Bird flu has officially hit a second Victorian poultry farm. It's a horrific situation to be in as farmers and as an industry. Surf Coast Eggs, located in Terang, Victoria, has been linked to the egg farm outbreak 130 kilometres away in Meredith earlier this week, where the highly contagious H7N3 strain of the virus was detected, leading to around 400,000 chickens being culled to halt the spread. No farmer wants to cull their bird. They would have been really sick and they would have ended up dying quite horrifically. The properties have been quarantined, restricting the movement of birds, poultry products, vehicles and equipment. Those orders now covering a 1.5 kilometre exclusion zone around the Terang farm, in addition to the existing 5 kilometre radius around the Meredith site, both with broader buffer zones. Poultry as in chicken meat, you shouldn't see any impact. You will see probably some egg accessibility issues and shortages. It comes as a less dangerous strain was detected in Western Australia yesterday and soon after Australia recorded its first ever human case of the avian influenza in a child who returned from India in March. Bird flu spreads widely amongst both wild and domestic birds and places including China, the US and even Antarctica have been grappling with an unprecedented global outbreak. We know that there are credible pathways for bird flu, the deadly strain to turn up on our shores and the experience overseas is shocking. Most strains don't infect humans but kill poultry and can cause illness in cows and other mammals. This bird flu is killing polar bears, grizzly bears, it's got into bottlenose dolphins, lions, even skunks. It's really serious. If you have any reason to believe that your chickens are sick, then you should call the emergency disease hotline and you can help stop spread the disease also. So how did the flu get to Australia and how devastating can it be for the local industry and our food supplies? Well, Professor Adrian Esterman is the Chair of Biostatistics at the University of South Australia. Professor, on a scale from a sniffle to the pandemic, how concerning is this? OK, so I'll, I'll try and explain it as simply as I can. There's two types of avian flu, one which is very mild and one which is very nasty. So the outbreak in Victoria is the very nasty form of, of uh, avian flu. It's called highly pathogenic avian influenza. And basically, when a flock gets infected, it kills all of the birds in that flock. So what happens then is the authorities basically quarantine the farms, and the whole object is, just like we did with COVID, is to isolate the farms where you've got a infected poultry and prevent it from spreading any further. It's, it's very unusual for a person to be infected, and usually it's someone who actually works with poultry that gets infected. But for any of these avian flus, there's no evidence of human-to-human -human transmission. Look, what, what is concerning is, is not so much the particular strain called uh, H7N3 in Victoria, but another one that's going around the world called... Um, H5N1. Now, the reason why this one is so concerning is that it's basically gone right round the world, even to Antarctica. It's wiped out millions and millions and millions of domestic and wild birds. It's now spread into mammals, so there's sea lions, there's walruses in Antarctica infected. Um, and there have been cases in humans. And what's really concerning is there's a 50% mortality rate in humans. Professor, those stats are staggering. What can we do about this? Well, as I pointed out, at the moment, the, the, these avian flus cannot transmit from human to human. So uh, unless or until that happened, it's not really a major issue. What concerns public health authorities is, potentially, it might mutate to make it more easily transmissible between humans. Now, at the moment, that risk is quite low. What effects, then, will it have on our poultry industry? OK, so there is an outbreak at the moment in uh, Western Australia, but it's of a totally different version of avian flu. And it's one of the low pathogenic varieties. And so what that happens is birds don't generally get very sick. If they do, they generally recover. But nonetheless, they're still quarantining the farm that's been affected in Western Australia. In Victoria, where there's these two outbreaks in farms, as I said, the authorities are on top of it. They're trying to stop it spreading further. And if they can do that, then it's not a major issue. It's only if it spreads outside those two farms, then we've got real problems with our poultry industry. All right, Professor, thanks for your time.
You're very welcome. <laughs>